In this lesson, we're gonna understand the purpose of the Trust Center and the Azure Compliance Documentation. If I think about the cloud, I'm putting a huge amount of trust in that provider. And so the emphasis really is on Microsoft to earn that trust and maintain that trust. If I think about just trust in general, there's a number of key pillars to that. If we go and look at one of the key sites, here we can see, hey, Microsoft products and services run on trust. And it breaks it down into these three elements. Security. So when I think about security, how is the various defense in depth requirements actually provided? I can think about privacy. Well, Azure has many compliance offerings, but how do I ensure the privacy of my data? What are they doing to protect the privacy of it? And then yes, the compliance offerings themselves. So there are many different compliance offerings out there by country, by industry. So what do we have available for Microsoft? And this is Microsoft. So yes, there's a focus on Azure. So here you have these sections around Azure for security, privacy, GDPR is obviously a huge one, data locations, compliance, then Azure DevOps services, Azure Cognitive Services, but then also for Microsoft 365, for Microsoft Dynamics 365, for the Power Platform. So all of these different clouds and services, we can get information about those three key pillars that really matter to this. Now, obviously, there's also ideas around reliability and resiliency, keeping Azure performing, responding, intellectual property, how is it protected? I want to double click on that idea of compliance. Now, we have this trust center. So the Azure trust center is really the starting point. We can see here we've gone to microsoft.com slash trust dash center. This is the hub. There's a video about how hey, it begins with trust. It has various pieces of information. It has some sort of case studies, additional resources. But what I'm actually gonna focus on is these titles at the top. So there's information about privacy, privacy overview, data management, GDPR, and then compliance. Compliance overview, compliance offerings, ones that are then based around the idea of regional and country compliance, cloud services due diligence and accessibility. So I would definitely recommend going to this site and having a look around. Now I'm gonna start off with this idea of compliance offerings. And once again, there's learn modules, there's overviews. It's giving me this idea about, well, hey, GDPR, Microsoft Cloud offerings, Microsoft Cloud for industries. It has service assurance. So I could go and get more information about specific aspects of how Microsoft offer their services. For example, I might care a lot about data center security. So I could absolutely dive into this document and get information about well, how does it host the services? How is it protecting it from that unauthorized access? It talks about some of the physical security systems. How are we protecting from earthquakes and hurricanes and natural disasters? How is it tested? And that's where different compliance standards and external auditors, for example, come in and help do those checks to make sure they're meeting the requirement. It talks about external regulators and certifications. And you can actually go and look at these documents to see the actual things that have been passed for its physical data centers. So you can go and look at this for all different aspects. But what I wanna double click on here is this Microsoft Compliance Offerings. So here we can see a list of all of the different compliance offerings available to us. Now, some of these are based on certain industries. Some of them are based on certain countries. And I can have different views to see these by kind of industry and government, whatever that might be. But then you can dive into any one of these to actually go and get the details around it. For example, PCI DSS, that's a big one for a lot of retail, for example. Well, it goes into details about, well, what services are in scope for this, how the different environments actually are configured and forced around, so I can get all of the different data around all of those different compliance offerings. You can see kind of there's a whole list on the left-hand 
navigation menu that is actually breaking it down by the particular industries. So when I, I think about that idea of compliance and that security, the trust center. Hey, I'm curious about what compliance offerings are available, trust center. I wanna be able to drill down and look at trust center. So this is gonna be the go-to hub that I wanna leverage when I'm trying to get any information that relates to compliance, regulatory compliance, and understanding the documents, because all the documents are linked to there, so I can actually go and get the detail about any one of them. 